This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It is a 2013 Ford F-150 Crew Cab with a five and a half foot short bed. It's a five liter V8, it's four wheel drive, and it's the FWX off-road suspension package. Uh, leather, navigation, beautiful truck. Um, it was a theft recovery purchase directly from an insurance company right here in Phoenix. Well, down the road in Phoenix. Um, it is on a salvage tile due to theft, not collision. Basically, the insurance company's attorneys do not want the insurance company sued by whoever we sell it to. So, they sell it on a salvage title. That's their way of divorcing it. That way, if you get killed in it, driving it after you bought it from us, obviously the insurance company has more money than Wheel Kinetics. You'd go after them on a clear title. On a salvage title, they can say, we're out. That's why they do it. it. Has nothing to do with the truck. Has everything to do with attorneys. Uh, but it also saves you a pound of money. Anyway, we bring them here. We do an inspection. My guys hand me this. Wow, cool truck. <laughs> but theft. But looks like it really an angry girl got loose on interior. Runs, drives, and great. It looks great. I think girlfriend got loose on the interior, and he reported it stolen. Uh, that's what I think happened. I don't think it was really stolen. But on paper, on Carfax, it does. That's what it says. Um, what do we have to do to it? Um, let's see. We had to fix the console lid on the center console. We had to put a used radio in. She took an ice pick or something and broke the navigation. Sell the new navigation card. Replace the power side mirror, uh, passenger power side mirror. Um, let's see. Replace the grill. There's the old grill, by the way. So in the uh, Carfax, you'll see that it says front damage. It's literally was missing this little piece right here. So we replaced that. And of course, Ford sent us an incomplete set of stuff. Um, we're still waiting on, there's little trim pieces that snap onto these ribs here. We should get them tomorrow. Um, but it's clean today and we don't want it to get dirty and it's black. And that's all. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, we repaired the passenger rear seat, headliner, uh, replaced the antenna, replay, uh, repaired the passenger seat. Basically, all seats were repaired, and a windshield and the center console. So basically, she just decided to take a little something and punch a hole in pretty much everything. So <laughs> we had to replace all that stuff or repair it. Um, I'm going to walk around this truck. I'll show you what's happening with it. Um, it's got. Right now it's got Mud Claw Radial MTs, it's called on it, and they are 35, 12 and a half, 20 LTs. Is it perfect cosmetically? No, but it's a pretty good looking truck. I mean, <laughs> it's a really good looking truck, but it's got a couple dings and nicks. I saw some scratches on the lower side doors on the driver's side that I'll point out. Uh, there's a little, I see a little ding right here. I see one right here. Um, the point of these videos is not to sell the truck. Um, we have plenty of people looking at this truck. Uh, we need to tell the truth. And that way we don't have any online drama. Uh, the most important thing is for me to tell the truth and to, to show you the bad stuff more than the good stuff. So I will, and I do. And uh, if we do that, everyone's gonna be happy. If we don't do that, we're gonna have problems. So, like I said, I saw that ding right here. There's a ding right here. Yeah. Little door ding here, here, and here. All right? my It's my job to do this. It's going to seem kind of insignificant because you really can't see them unless you get at the right angle. But leaving stuff out is not how we roll. It's not good for our business. It's not good for our buyers. We want to make sure that you know what you're buying so that we don't have any drama. Drama blows. And somebody out there in the internet world will be just fine with the flaws. So if we leave flaws out, someone might be pissed. Little chip here, little scratch there. Again, insignificant, but I ain't leaving it out. All right, where did I see it? Oh, I see one, like a little touch up paint in there would be nice. It's kind of low, so you don't really notice it. It's kind of typical. I guess whatever you got in, you got there too, but you probably wouldn't notice it so much um, because it's low, but I would still get a little bit of touch up paint and be real careful and it would be fine. 100,250 miles. All right, let's go into the hood. All right. 
First things first, so right underneath this piece of plastic, you can see a Ford stamp, so you know it's an original Fender, okay? Then you got your Ford stuff up here. There's your Ford stamp right above it, so you know it's original hood, so nothing's been replaced up front. There's your Ford support stuff, your frame tips. Everything looks great up here, just the way it was factory. There's your Ford stamp there. Yeah, I would say, I would say he had a really pissed off girlfriend. I don't think, I'll bet they're not dating anymore. Or married anymore. Um, all right, uh, let's see. We got a Kelly Blue Book here for a five and a half foot uh, bed FX4 crew cab, 102,000 miles. Um, typical listing price for this truck would be 22,689 with a range of 19.3 to 24.018. Uh, Obviously, that's going to be less because of the title, which is why you buy from us in this situation because you're gonna save a pound of money just because of the piece of paper. There's the uh, VIN, this is the Carfax. They blend the Kelly and the Carfax together and they come up with a history uh, based retail value of $17,170, okay? So here's the actual Carfax itself. There's the, the VIN, salvage due to theft damage reported, piss girlfriend, trashed interior. It looks great now, but Took a little while to put this thing together. We had to send it to a really good interior guy to do it and had to buy a new, well used, navigation unit, buy a card for it, the whole bit. She was, uh, I guess it could be he. I guess I'm being sexist, right? Could be a pissed off guy, but uh, who knows? All right, so that's all that. Lots of good services. And then right here on 10 9 of 19, it was stolen. And six days later, it was recovered. Um, and it says damage was the front. I just showed you the grill. That was definitely it. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Nothing there. See back, forward. This is a pretty truck. Forward, up, and down. I think while we're here, we'll go find all the plugs here. Let's see. All right, so take this out. You've got two. Uh, USB ports. This is the nav card, and you got some audio visual ports in there. Okay. All right. Let's see what else we got going on here. There's a window up and down. Door locks. Let's see. Make sure I didn't lock myself out here. All right. Window up and down. I mean, my interior guy is great because she just went bang, bang, bang across the seat. That was really shitty. <laughs> but it's uh, it looks brand new now. She or he or he could have done it. Need a lens cover for that light. We had to do the whole headliner. Took the took the uh, knife to that too, so that's brand new. There's your VIN. There's your tire sizes that are supposed to be on it. Pretty sure that it wasn't born with 50 uh, with uh, 35s on it. All right. Let's see forward and back and up down tilt forward and back Let's see we have adjustable pedals that's up and down tilt wheel there's up and down there all right let's hop in this guy First of all, navigation. Let's see where we are here. Ba, 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 ba. Should be on Gardner Lane. Let's see, get a little closer. That would be Gardner Lane, right there. That's where we are. All right, let's see, what else? Rear slider. Let's see, lights. That doesn't light up. Maybe there's, huh. 
Must be a bulb because it's all there. Let's see, that one does. Let's see, you got sunglass holders, home. Let's go here. Heated seats, cooled seats, passenger side. Boom, there you go. And yes, they are working. I can already feel it happening as we speak. Steering controls. That's steering controls. Change the station. All right, so we got all that working for us. Uh, let's see, what else? Go here. So we've got the gauge mode, temp. Trans temp, blah blah blah. Truck apps, off road, trailer disconnected, settings, blah blah blah. Gauge button. You know what? I like, I like that one. That one's cool. All right. So we're gonna go to neutral. We go to four low. Shift in progress. Advanced track goes off when you're in four low only. In four high, it'll come back on. So this is four low. That's drive gate here there's your backup camera all right all right and then we're gonna go to four high shift in progress advanced track comes back on that's perfect drive a little faster in four high reverse there's reverse in four high neutral now we're gonna go to two high shift in progress now we're in two-wheel drive. All right, if you come to Tucson and drive at home, obviously you need, you need plates and insurance. You can get neither on a salvage title. We have to take this truck down to the cops here in Tucson, get what's called a level three inspection. Once we have that, we can take the current salvage title and get what's called a restored salvage title. Once we have that, you can get plates. Or we can issue you plates and you can get insurance. So that's mandatory, that's $200. If you're gonna come here to Tucson and drive at home, that's mandatory. We have a $250 dock fee and we have taxes. Taxes are whatever your state tax rate is plus our city of 2.7. If your tax rate is zero, and there are states with zero, uh, then it's zero. Uh, if it's 10, then it's 10. And it will be added to the 2.7 city tax, a $250 dock fee, and 200 to store the title. If you pay by wire and ship out of Arizona, all you're obligated to pay is agreed upon price. There's no tax, there's no dock fee, nothing. If you want us to, uh, to uh, restore the title before it ships out, let us know early, and uh, we'll add $200 to it, and we'll get that done. Uh, once we've received full payment, we'll fill out the title with your name, your company's name and address. We will sign it off to you, scan it into your online file, and mail it to you. We'll even scan in the envelope we mail it in. Um, so you'll be able to see everything up front. You'll have the truck shipped to you. You already have the title in the mailbox before the truck shows up by your shipper, and you'll just go to motor vehicles in your town and get uh, plates. It's very simple. Uh, if you need help with shipping, ask for Joey at the beginning of things. And uh, Joey can either give you some advice, do it for you, roll the price into the, roll the, uh, the uh, price of the shipping into the uh, price of the truck. Whatever you need to do, whatever kind of help you need, he can do it. Uh, if you can do it yourself, that's fine. Um, but uh, we're there for you if you need us, all right? Last part of every video, I say the same thing for thousands and thousands and thousands of trucks and cars in a row. We don't have salesmen, so you're not paying for them. We don't have bottled water with our name on it. We don't have a lounge to hang out in all day. We don't have an attendant making you sandwiches. They got all that shit at the auto mall, which is about a mile east of us, all right? They also have a beautiful uh, location with the mall next door, and it's just all, it's awesome. And you're paying for every bit of it, okay? I know personally how the pricing goes there, and trust me, it really affects the price. They also know at the auto mall that when this truck breaks, if they were to sell it to you, then you're gonna come back and say, fix my truck. That's part of the price too. On something like this, I'll add about $500 to the price. Uh, it's in great shape, so they'd probably figure that the chance of something happening serious would be pretty low. Um, so they'd add 500 to it, all right? So between all those check builders, location, water, salesman, lounge, uh, repairs, you're paying thousands more. Um, you're also, uh, we're not going to do that, by the way. We're not fixing your truck. That's the point of this. When you own it, you own it. You're saving a ton of money because we don't have any of those things. It's also a big savings because of the title, because of a piece of paper. Um, you don't drive a piece of paper, you drive the truck, all right? This truck is cool, all right? It probably could use a set of tires, maybe just rears, um, pretty soon. Um, but uh, other than that, it doesn't need anything but a new driver. 
interior looks fantastic after quite a lot of money was spent on it um, everything works great nice truck we just uh, make sure that people know how we operate and so uh, there's no drama um, I think we sold six or seven today um, which uh, is good because we're running out of room normally I say we need some room so buy some vehicles they'll be cheap this one's a really nice truck I don't know how cheap this one's gonna be um, but due to all those factors it might be uh, cheaper than you think so anyway beautiful truck thank you for your time